I never thought I needed those items until I actually had them and now they're such a big part of my day-to-day -day and a real game changer. Hi everyone, my name is Divya and today I wanted to share with you my free non-essentials essentials. And now that I think about it, the more on the tech side, so let's get into it. My first one is my Kindle. I have always been in love with reading. Even as a kid, I would save my pocket money to go to the bookstores and buy books. That was my source of joy and things haven't changed that much over the years. I still love reading so much it's just a great way for me to escape the world and all the distractions so I try to make it a point to read every day and the thing is that I travel a lot and just to give you a little context for the last three years I think I've changed countries five times so needless to say books kind of like pose a problem with that because they're bulky they add a lot of weight to your suitcases and when you're just trying to travel as lightweight as possible unfortunately they don't quite make the cut enter the kindle i had a lot of resilience there was a kindle in the beginning because i don't know i really like the feeling of just holding a book and flipping through the pages there's something so comforting and joyful about it and i just thought that the kindle would never be able to provide that and to be honest nothing can really replace the book feeling but it is as close as it gets especially when I'm comparing it to other devices whether it is the iPhone or the iPad um, I just love it now it's been more than a year that I've been using it and I use it every day um, it's great because it's small it's very compact and lightweight and I can put it in any of my bags so I can just really carry it around with me wherever I'm going whether I'm on the subway or just like walking around going to cafe um, on my own or waiting for someone even in the car it's so practical and I feel like just being able to have it all the time with me has increased my reading time for so much I read so much more since I have my Kindle and I just love it one of the things that I I really like about it is the matte screen because you know contrary to the iPad that is super glossy and bright especially at night I am trying to stay away from all that light and stay away from the devices so I could just switch off my lights be in my bed read my book and the black screen is just perfect for nighttime it is very gentle and I feel like it is as close as it gets to a book my next device is the remarkable if you're not familiar with it it's this very sleek digital note pack it's very thin and you can actually have a lot of different notebooks in there so you can really segment different parts of your life and have a notebook for each one and i love that and as a kid if you go back to my childhood room you have this shelf that is filled with a lot of different notebooks because i would have one for each purpose of my life and it is so nice to go back and read my you know very old diary entries and just reflect on all the beautiful memories from before so writing has always been very important for me but since i'm traveling so much having a lot of notebooks is not really an option it is not really practical because they are bulky and they add a lot of weight and so I definitely needed to find like an alternative place to put all my thoughts and notes and I've tried a lot of different tools like notion or more but never really stick to them because they kind of fail to provide this feeling of pen to paper that I love so much and I know a lot of you are gonna resonate with that and so I really thought there was no device that would be able to translate it as well and then I tried the Remarkable and I was very pleasantly surprised because to be honest it is as close as it gets and I just love it because you have different templates you can have blank pages lines grids dotted pages whatever you want and it also has those different pen utensils whether you want to write with a ball pen or a fine liner a pencil or even like an ink pen it really translates that feeling so well well. And I was very impressed because it does keep your handwriting as close to reality as it is and it doesn't try to like enhance it or improve it like other device would and I really like that. I've had the Remarkable for a little over than six months now and I love it. I think I use it almost every day because it is so practical to carry around as well. It's super sleek, it's so light and I just, you know, anytime that I want, I have it with me, I can just write pour my feelings in my journal, plan my life. It's just great. A lot of goodness comes out from it. 
you could definitely be more efficient and just have one device for writing and reading, right? You could have an iPad and it would fulfill both of the purposes. But the reason why I choose to have different device for those different like purpose is because I'm really trying to limit my screen time in general. And so I feel like if I had an iPad, I would be more distracted by the other apps that is on there, but also it is also access to the world that I'm trying to cut back, especially when I'm doing those particular activities. These two separate devices have definitely helped me cut back on my screen time because in the morning, I usually meditate, read, and journal. And now I can just take those two devices, get my phone away, and so I am away from all the distractions of social media and everything else that is happening in the world, really concentrating and focusing on myself and just really bringing more clarity and zen to my day. My last device is the Apple Watch. Um, I I do consider myself as someone that is very into fitness and wellness and for the longest time I was resistant to the Apple Watch because I was just like scared I would get obsessed with the metrics and all the like calorie tracking I did not want that for myself I know that I have a tendency to do that so I wanted to stay away from it as much as possible but then my fiance gifted me this Apple Watch and I must say I love it but also, I'm not gonna lie, during the first two weeks, I was a bit obsessed with all the tracking and all the metrics that you know I had access to, and I was checking it a lot of times during the day. But after those two weeks, I must say, it really faded away, and now it's just like, I don't really look at it that much. But I just feel like if you are into fitness and you're exercising and working out like regularly, I think it's nice to be able to track those metrics. Um, and what I also love about the Apple Watch is the alarm. I know it's very niche, but basically I just hate the alarm that is on the phone. It goes off in the morning and I feel like I'm just spiking my cortisol and you know my stress level is already up and I'm not yet out of the bed and I just really hated the ring any of the ringtones no matter what I would try and if you're setting the alarm on the Apple watch it kind of like does this little tapping on your wrist and it's so gentle and I feel like it is such a game changer to waking up and I feel like waking up should be this very very gentle gesture that you do towards yourself because it could be a real shock in your system otherwise and I just love the alarm that is on the Apple Watch. It has changed everything for me because also it is so gentle that it is more efficient and I have less of a tendency to press news that I would on an iPhone. And since I'm also wearing it during the night, since I'm using it as an alarm, it's also tracking my sleep and I did not really look into like sleep tracking before and I just love everything, all the data that it gives you because I do have a tendency to have a lot of nightmares and you know it's so funny because you're able to see that during the day that you eat differently or drink a little bit more or maybe you've had like an off day routine wise it does affect your sleep so much and just knowing all those factors are a great tool to like kind of like fine-tune your sleep and making sure you're having enough deep sleep so loving the apple watch for that as well another thing that i really love to use my apple watch for is the timers so whenever i am working for instance i have my phone away from me because i don't want to be distracted by anything i just want to work and i love doing the pomodoro technique so what i do is i set the timers on my apple watch and at least when it comes off i am not distracted or i am not tempted to go and just like waste time online and another thing that i really like about the apple watch is that you're able to have all your notifications on the watch coming in from your messages or anything else at least you stay connected to your family or to your close ones it's still a great way to stay connected feel connected but still having a distance from it so yeah, that concludes my video on my free non-essentials essentials. They are tools that I use on a daily basis because they really help me plan, organize, but also just like improve my life in general. And they have been real game changers with my personal goal, which was to reduce my screen time. If you're looking to do that as well, then check those items out. They are great. And while they are on the pricier side, they are the best investments that you're going to make hands down comment below which one is your favorite and which one you'll be getting next if i had to choose between all the three of them i don't know maybe i would go 
either Kindle or Remarkable just because of my love for reading and writing but I would not be able to choose one of them. So yeah, thank you all for watching and thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. And if you want to see more content on self-development and you're here to level up in 2023, then check out my channel and subscribe. It would mean a lot. And until then, I'll see you very soon.